Helicopters scour the mountainside, water bombing pockets of flame in the nice of forests. These fires have been raging over the past two days, destroying everything in their path. Home after home lies in ruin. For some, it's a lucky escape. I was quite convinced that all the houses were gone because we, there was just an incredible amount of fl flames and that. And only this morning at 7 o'clock when I came up to see, somebody, my son came back from firefighting and he said to me, Mom, don't get excited, but do you have a front of your house? And I came up here and I can't believe my house is standing. I've just lost all my wrap, wrap around decks, but the core of the house is intact. There's nothing wrong with it. For others, they lose everything. Yesterday it was at 11 o'clock and then the, the house was burned. I think it was eight houses in the house. We don't have nothing. We don't know where we must stay. We don't have even clothes. And our child is still at school and then don't have even clothes. Some of those displaced are housed in a local school. Donations of food keep pouring in. We've evacuated between 2,000 to 3,000 people. Many of those people have been placed in um, accommodation uh, in the form of halls, um, B&Bs, resorts, and currently a lot of them are also stationed at uh, halls within the different areas. And we're currently looking after them by feeding them, um, you know, making sure they are keeping they're keeping warm. For now, the fire is contained, but not controlled. Today was not a chasing game. Today was about attacking the fire. We've made a lot of progress in terms of attacking. We've secured a lot of areas. The fire is now secure. It's not under control yet. Uh, we still need to deal with a few areas, especially with aerial, aerial bombing. Um, that we plan to do tomorrow. We also got helicopters into Nisner now. Um, we've already started using them this afternoon. Um, so that's a huge plus in terms of now gaining full control of this fire and eventually extinguishing it. Plans for tomorrow, we're still going to have ground crews because we've still got in our residential areas. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, currently smoldering dwellings, motor cars that we need to attend to because we want to make the area safe for people to return to their homes. Um, and then we're going to continue with aerial bombing. Winds are expected in the morning and firefighters prepare for another day of battle.